and welcome to the Tuesday Tell All. It's Tuesday already. This is Driver Interviews with Bobby Fazio at Driver Interviews. Hashtag the car show. All right, what's the date? Uh, March 19th, right? March 19th? Yes. Okay. Wow. St. Patty's Day was a couple days ago. And St. Patty's Day is just, it's not the same to me as it was, you know, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. I'd say about 10 years ago was the last time I like enjoyed St. Patty's Day. And then I realized I was probably just getting a little too old for it. And I'm not Irish anyway. So, uh, but it was always a good excuse to, to, to go out and have fun and do stuff, right? Um, but anyways, nowadays, what are you doing on St. Patty's Day? Nothing. It was on a Sunday. I mean, you just, just, just did, did a regular Sunday stuff, which isn't a whole lot, by the way, if I can help it. But um, <laughs> happy St. Patty's Day to all our Irish uh, listeners out there. Walt Walker, let's go, Walt. Happy Tuesday. There he is. Bruce Fulper, we need real winner decals. Real winner decals. Oh, for class, class eliminations. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Tom Baker, what's going on, Tom? Up to no good as usual, right? <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Darian Houston, my favorite place again on a Tuesday night at work dealing with the world's problems and listening to the best live podcast in the world thank you thanks i appreciate the kind words there multitasking at its finest you got that right brad smith's in the house too there he is what's going on brad dino mares good job love you from dino mares fontana california fontana used to have that drag strip there actually was a uh the cal the whole speedway was there i don't know if the whole speedway is still there on top of that the terminator 2 Steel Plant, if you ever watched that movie, which is the best Terminator out of all of them, the Steel Plant at the end, which was then knocked down and Fontana Speedway was built over. If I am, uh, I'm pretty sure about that. I'm going to give myself a 90, 95% accuracy rating on that one. But thank you for joining us, Dino. Uh, Sam Mary, there he is. Happy birthday, Sam. Happy St. Patty's Day, Sam. Thanks a lot for everything, Sam. Walter Gamble, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, uh, let's see here. I feel like uh, Scott Giordano, the comments just keep coming in. Scott Giordano, what's up, buddy? Dennis Chapman, how you doing, Dennis Chapman? Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Driverinterviews.com is the website. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you could. Hit the uh, alert button so you know whenever I post a new video or whenever I go live, and you will be uh, notified, okay? It doesn't cost a thing to subscribe. I do think you need to have a Google account. Google owns YouTube, so I think you have to have like a Gmail address to be able to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, but if you could do that, that'd be amazing. We're at 4,300 and something subscribers. Let's keep it going. We're just about at 4,500 Facebook followers. I think I need like two more to get to 4,500. So if you want to follow me on Facebook, at Driver Interviews is the handle. And Instagram, same thing. I had an influx of Instagram um, from the reels I've been putting up. So guys, the more, the more people follow me, the more it, the algorithm likes it and the more videos get sent out to people and the more people learn about stock and super stock drag racing. And that's the whole goal here. Uh, maybe we can start reaching out to some celebrities and get them on board. Maybe get them to like build a car. I mean, Fletcher Cox retired from the Philadelphia Eagles recently, and he's actually going to be racing at our event at Cecil County in May. There's going to, there's going to be in conjunction with our NHRA race. There's going to be pro mods there too. It's going to be the first time I've ever seen that at a divisional. Uh, Lupe Tortilla, Texmex.com. Don't forget the hyphen. That's Stan and Sheila Holt. They're the best pit spot at the races. I'm not going to lie. I probably shouldn't tell that many people that because everybody's going to start going to their pit. But very generous people, very fun to be around, and very, very nice Chevy 2 uh, Novas, man. You should see them things. And then Jared also throws in that, like, 98 Firebird, which is a really cool car, but it's not a Chevy 2, right? Anyways, Lupe Tortilla, can't do it without them. Can't do it without Drag Insights. Draginsights.com. This is Alicia Anderson's program, an amazing program. Check out your stats. Check out your opponent's stats. I mean, you got to start researching. You got to you gotta have every tool in the toolbox at your disposal, right? Start looking up your opponents. Start seeing uh, the ETs they run. Start checking... Average qualifying positions, if you want to start planning your qualifying, uh, the ladder ahead of time, right? Dragon Sites can do all that. Contingency el eligible if you are a premium member. And on top of that, Alicia sponsors a lot of things. She's sponsoring the Division One Dead on uh, the Dial again this year. She's sponsoring um, the ad in the National Dragster for our Stock and Superstock records to come back along with the crowdfund. And she is sponsoring a payout in the newly... Uh, 
revitalized East Coast Stock Super Stock Association that Rob Keister is bringing back. So she's uh, giving money out to the top three finishers at the end of the season. More on that later. But Alicia, just long story short, very generous and very cool program she's got going on here. Dragonsites.com, get a free membership. Uh, if you want to step up and research opponents, you need a premium membership. Don Kennedy Race Car Insurance, 602-284-6240. Insure your race cars, guys. Don't take a chance right now. Everything's very expensive and very expensive to replace things. Let Haggerty Insurance pay the bill instead of you, right? One Don Kennedy at gmail.com. Don can get you set up with uh, premiums very low and coverage very high. Fuel Factor X, increase your fuel mileage, guys, in your motorhomes, especially those diesels. Man, diesel fuel, where I, I live in Jersey, gas is about $3.29 a gallon here. Diesel fuel is like four of something. I don't even know. It starts with a four. So I don't know how you guys are doing it with these diesel pushers. I can't imagine how much fuel you have to put in one of these things before you head to a race that's a thousand miles away. Like, good God. I mean, I was complaining throwing a hundred dollars in at a time when I was driving down to Gainesville, but whew, um, I was throwing my fuel factor X in and it actually helped me. I, I think it got me one to one and a half miles per gallon extra by the time I fully had that stuff kicking and saturating in there. So check it out. Fuel Factor X. There's a link in the show notes. Try it for yourself. Kenwood Welding and Metalizing. That's Tom Baker. What's going on, Tom? He's here. He already commented. He's either working and taking a little lunch break or uh, or he's maybe not working tonight. He deserves a day off. He never gets a day off. But uh, thanks for your support, Tom. I appreciate it. Tom's making some killer pieces as well for uh, stock and super stock rides, as you will hear about pretty soon when they fully get released. Uh, Ambi Ambersand Soap, new sponsor on board. There is the website right there, Ambi Ambersand. That is Ashton Hudson, Comp Eliminator Racer. You can get that double O green soap. And this is a contingency eligible item as well. It's a contingency buy-in for divisional series and it's also a buy-in for that comp eliminator bonus fund which you got to make your pick before they start running comp eliminator down in d4 all right so there's that comp eliminator bonus fund uh website but this makes you eligible for that as well so ambiambersand.com is the uh is the website to purchase the soap be eligible for divisional contingency as well as that comp eliminator bonus fund and he pays contingency very quickly like as you're going through the finish line Getting the win in the final round, he's processing the payment, and it's pretty quick. And he doesn't just mail a check. You can do like a Venmo, a Zelle. Like, it's 2024. I, I don't even know why we're still mailing checks, to be honest with you. But uh, he he's pretty hip to the technology. PontiacEngines.com. Bruce Fulper, Rock and Roll Engineering. Thanks for uh, sponsoring the show there. Bruce, founder of that 428 cubic inch combo that all the, the Pontiac racers know and love and go very, very fast with, right? CP Carrillo Pistons, Rick Panettin, who came to the rescue of Russ Gent recently before that big money Bradenton race down there. But Rick Panettin, R. Panettin, at cp Carrillo, two R's, two L's, dot com. They can get you set up with a nice set of Pistons for your ride. I got a nice set of CP Pistons waiting to go in to my 289 cubic inch super stock engine. Can't wait to knock those in. Bob Sr., the engine builder of the 289. All right. Who's out there? Joe Collins. What's going on, Joe? How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Rodney Cakel. There he is with the monkey business. 68 Camaro, I believe. 396. Three and a quarter. Darian Houston. He's back again. Good luck, Ryan Warder and the joint venture complimentary team at Pomona. Hope you all make it there safe. I hope you do too. Joseph Eustace. How about showing us slow stalkers some love in your driver interviews? We may not do big wheelies, but we put on a really, really good show being chased down by a Copo, Cobra Jet, or a Drag Pack. All right, I will definitely try to make it a point to do that. I thought I have been, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't done like a real, real slow one. They're phenomenal, though. I mean, the chase, the chase is wonderful. I'm, I'm thinking about trying to get uh, more cameras. And put one in the fast car, put one in the slow car, and you can see the chase on a split screen. You could, I could do a lot with a video like that, right? I think it would be, I think it would be really cool. Um, but yes, I know all about getting chased by those fast cars. I just got chased by a Copo in Gainesville the other day. Dave Cott, what's going on? Have, uh, how you doing? From Florida, man. Yep, you're still there. Lucky you. Ray Minnick, what are you doing? Taxes. The accountant, the accountant out of Pennsylvania. Chip is in uh, North Carolina. Ray is in Pennsylvania. What's up, Ray? Michael Borst, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? 
Just sneaking in is Scott. Scott Cott was working on his NCAA bracket. Oh, crap. I didn't do mine yet. I did something different this year. I did, like, a bunch of boxes like you would do for the Super Bowl. So I don't think I have to pick any teams now. It's just all about how the scores and that's a little bit easier for me. Plus, Villanova hasn't – it's the first time since I've been at that school, 20 years, that they didn't make the tournament two years in a row. Uh, Tom is working. All right. Lori Carta. Greg Carta is watching. All right. Thanks, Greg and Lori. Craig Harris is in the house. Oh, my wife is watching. She's watching from work. How you doing, Kiki? Love you. Miss you. Brett Steven. Good evening, Brett Steven. How you doing? Denise Houston. Saw my new addition, Angel. She's actually walking around the room right now, so I got a cat. I am not a cat person, all right? I'm not a cat, you know, I'm not going to sit here and post a million pictures of my animal. I don't, you know, I'm just, I had a cat growing up, but they just, they're not my thing. But I kind of got overruled. My wife and stepson really, really wanted a cat, so we rescued one, and now we have it. And to be honest, she's been pretty great so far. Very, very trained, very nice, lets you uh, pet it. Uh, actually... I was sleeping in bed last night, and the thing was like sleep. There's like sleeping, dug into my back. Like, what? What the hell's going on here? Um, so very nice cat. I'm really enjoying it. Tim Barrett, Tim and Linda, happy recent birthday, Tim. I got to get to the birthdays. Dirty dancing, Bobby Fazio. Any auditions coming up? Working on it. All right. As soon as I become a movie star, I I definitely won't forget about the class racing crowd. I'm gonna bring all of them, all the cool movie stars that like muscle cars, back back with me right so you know i wanted to be a movie star ever since i was like three years old maybe it'll happen someday if i bust out those dance moves again it'll definitely happen what's up shane swayze how you doing buddy and ray minnick there he is he's doing taxes all right guys we got some birthdays i think i forgot to do birthdays like a couple weeks in a row there so i got a lot of them right now well like seven or eight of them mike focacci march 12th happy birthday mike dalton berman was march 13th happy birthday dalton ryan Locke. Everybody knows who Ryan Locke is. March 14th. That's Pi Day, 314 for anybody that knows any math. Tim Barrett. There he is. March 16th, 316. Austin, 316, right? Or John, 316. Brian Funderburk, uh, March 17th, St. Paddy's Day, baby. Santi Grossi, another St. Paddy's Day, baby. Happy birthday, Santi Grossi. He's got that beautiful Pink Panther. What's that? Dodge Challenger he's got out there. Uh, Avery McClawhorn, March 18th. Happy birthday, Avery. And then Pete Lanciers. We're going to go into the future. Pete Lanciers' birthday is tomorrow. He's probably in the stacking line out of Pomona. He should be watching right now. He usually checks in, but uh, I haven't seen him so far. Steve Delucia, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? And there's Tim. Uh, uh, Tim. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Don. Don Kennedy. <laughs> I was like blanking. Don, what's going on, Don? Don Kennedy for your race car insurance. Drag race car insurance, right? He's there in tech, uh, Tennessee. Pete Lanciers, there he is. He's in stacking. Happy birthday tomorrow there, Pete Lanciers. Maybe uh, a nice birthday win this weekend for you. John Winslow, there he is. Happy birthday to Pete. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. <sighs> All right, so you already know I talked to NHRA about the records. We are just about complete completed the crowdfunding. I think we need like another 50 bucks. Um if anybody wants to put that up or if anybody wants to keep putting up more than that, we can do three issues a year, but let's just, we're just going to try and do the two issues right now for sure and see where that leads us. Hopefully entices people to go out and set records and um, God willing, we get some good air while we're out there so people can set records. If this goes on, maybe we can get uh, actual sponsors to step up and um, sponsor that page for us and or put up money and or prizes for people that actually do set records that's something that i would like to try and work on i want to i want to give some incentive to set records in addition to i think we should maybe talk to nhra um i know we've kind of thrown this around in the past but do you think there should be some points awarded for setting a record uh, i do think there should be i think it's great to maybe throw some bonus points in there or a grade point to help you get into a national event Something like that, some kind of some some kind of incentive to set a record. But you know, if it, let's say it's a tight, you know, you're, you're in the top five in like stock or super stock, and um, you know it's really tight there, and you go out and set a record, and it gives you that little edge to go uh, to move up in the points, or maybe get a championship. Could you imagine winning a championship by like 
setting a record, I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I, I think you should get points for class eliminations too. Like I think, I think the champion at the end of the year should be the most well-rounded had performance when they needed it, uh, was a killer driver when they needed to in the bracket racing aspect. I think a well-rounded champion isn't, you know, I, I think that's not out of the question. I think that'd be a great thing. And I know we had well-rounded champions the last couple of years. I know Rizzoli was fast when he had to be. I know Wyatt Wagner's fast when he had to be. And they were both killer drivers, right? So uh, I, I just think adding, it adds another element, right? Class eliminations become that much more important and setting a record becomes that much more important. All right. Uh, what else? We have the Cajun Sports Nationals was postponed. As you all know, it is now May. I've been seeing May 2nd to the 5th and May 3rd to the 5th. So I'm just going to play it safe and say May 2nd to May 5th at Bell Rose, uh, Louisiana. No problem raceway, which is a great facility. And I think you should all check it out. Anybody that wants to see hashtag the car show, head down there. Uh, May 2nd to the 5th. It's in Bell Rose, Louisiana. Check it out on Google Maps. See how far away you are and see if you can score some tickets. Uh, last weekend, we had the Phil Mandela PMR race cars uh, put up a $10,000 to win stock super stock combo race. It was in Las Vegas at the uh, drag strip there. And uh, it was a pretty cool event. There was more than just Phil, Phil Mandela was like the main sponsor, but I think California Car Cover, Wicked Stitches, which is Mark Kirby, Missouri Enterprises, um, Carl Battis put up like an extra $1,000 I, I read somewhere. So it was a cool event. And um, let's just we'll, we'll touch on the results here real quick. Trey Vetter took that win there. He's got a super stock F automatic uh, 68 Camaro uh, with a 396. He dialed 979 in the final round and ran a 982 at 125 miles an hour, taking a 5,000 stripe killer driving job. I don't know what the reaction times were. Uh, took a 5,000 stripe and got the win over John Gray. This is not the same John Gray that we know in Division One with the 69 Camaro. This is John Gray with a 72 Dodge Demon, I believe. It's an E-Stock automatic car, and I'm just guessing it's got a 340 in it. John Gray dialed an 1109 and ran an 1109, so I can only uh, gather that Trey Vetter had the reaction time advantage because he was three over his dial and uh, got the win. So congratulations, Trey Vetter, picking up $10,000 plus, uh, unless there was some splitting going on. I don't really know, but sounds like a cool event. I was trying to watch some of the live coverage that that Tony Mandela was putting on, and um, my buddy uh, Brian Brian Anderson, my old co-host from the Class Racing Today show, he was he was putting uh, live coverage on. So he was there. I guess he was racing his. Um, I guess he was racing his Camaro. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Good to see him out there. Um, let's see what else. What else? Jim Grossi. Oh, everybody remembers Jim Grossi's. Orange Corvette, that 68 Corvette Stingray. It's got a factory GT motor in it, so it's got a late late model Copo engine in it. But he won the best appearing car. They had a best appearing car award there at this Vegas race. And uh, I think that's really cool. That car, if you haven't seen, I did a, a feature interview on that car at the uh, Pomona Finals last year. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. All the Grossi brothers have three phenomenal cars it's hard to you know like alan reinhardt always says you pick one and i'll take the other one like which one's your favorite there's no wrong answer that's the way it is with the three grossy brothers like you pick one and i'll and i'll i'll let you have first pick and i'll take whatever's left and that's in in that family because uh i love all three of them all right let's see what do we got here what do we got comments are still flying in all right todd hoven is in for 50 bucks thank you todd appreciate that that seals that deal we are uh, all finished. We are all good to go with the uh, Drag Insights slash crowdfunded records page in the National Dragster. And it Morris, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Actual sponsors. What are we, chopped liver? Not at all, but I want some actual uh, product sponsors. Maybe Cometic gives some gaskets. Maybe uh, an oil company gives you some oil. Maybe, uh, you know, things of that nature. You gotta you gotta take your engine apart. You need a couple parts and pieces to put it back together. That costs money. Maybe uh, somebody can do that. Maybe a fuel sponsor will come in and give some a couple gallons of fuel to somebody that sets a uh, a record. I mean, if I owned a fuel company and somebody set a record with my fuel, that makes me look pretty good. I'd give you a couple gallons for free. 
but that's me. I don't own a fuel company. Tom Nolan, how you doing, buddy? Doug Core, how you doing? Thanks for joining us, Tom. Doug, appreciate it. Rodney's planning on getting the D-Stock automatic record again with this new motor. Just hope that the Fall Classic doesn't have a crazy headwind like last year. Oh, I hate headwinds. If not grade points or money, nobody will set records. They will want the grade points more than the money. One grade point doesn't do a whole lot for you unless you have like seven and you're trying to get eight. So I'd rather have, I don't know. It's a tough, give me the option. <laughs> give me a grade point or the money. I mean, it depends on how much money it is. I mean, nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm going for the money. Thought Brian was racing Phil Chevelle. Oh, okay. Maybe it was, was he was driving the, the, uh, the, the white whale, the great white whale. Excellent. All right. How did he do? Ray Klotz, what's going on? Good job on the crowdfunding. Thank you very much, and thank you for uh, participating in the crowdfund there, Ray. Appreciate it. Brian was driving Mandela's Chevelle. Okay. So the, the, the Great White Whale, I think they call it. It's a G-Stock automatic Chevelle, and I believe that's got a 396, 325 horse motor in it. All right. Where else? What are we doing? All right. This weekend, it's the Winter Nationals, right? It's kind of weird to me still that it doesn't uh, it doesn't open up the NHRA season like it did for, I don't know, 50, 60 years. But eh, we're kind of getting used to it. Gainesville opens up the season now. Then everybody heads west to Pomona, California. There are 50 stock eliminator cars entered. There was a quota of 60, which I don't like to hear that only 50 are entered. And there are 53 super stockers, more super stockers than stockers. Very rarely you see that. So 53 out of 60 in Superstock. It's the West Coast. West Coast is very dot .90 heavy and uh, and pretty moderate uh, stock at Superstock. Car counts out there, but not not like Division One, Division Three, and even, I guess, Division II. Uh, way more stock and Superstock cars here. It's just the way it is. There's, there's, there's a higher concentration of them here. So NHRA, hope you're paying attention to that here we need higher quotas here in division one three and i guess two definitely for the gator nationals temperatures this weekend in pomona california 75 on thursday thursday is looking good friday 72 but i'm reading that it's supposed to be pretty foggy foggy on friday that's all it really says now saturday 62 62 and rain in the forecast not really sure and then sunday 64 and sunny so it's going to be fun dialing those cars, qualifying at 75 degree temperatures on Thursday and then racing in 62 degree temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. So be on your game there. Be on your game. Check your weather stations. See what's going on. Uh, hopefully they get it in. Normally when there's like a rain delay on Saturday that, you know, it's it's annoying. Everybody hates rain delays, but it gets you more stage time on Sunday, I would say, unless... They kick you off to the uh, end of the day after the pros. That's just the worst, in my opinion, because um, I like to be racing in between the pros while the whole crowd is still there. But you all knew that, right? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, they already repeated. There we go. Always had a soft spot for Pomona In-N-Out Burger in Ontario. Oh, God, I love In-N-Out Burger. Brian Reynoldson, how you doing? Rained pretty much all weekend in Vegas. I can't believe that. I've never seen that before in Vegas. I was fortunate to never have a rain delay when I came out to Vegas to spectate. But uh, good luck, everybody, heading to the Winter Nationals. Love it there. Uh, that is a, definitely a track that I want to go down at some point in my life, and I should probably do it sooner rather than later because you never know what's going on in California. IA. Uh, last year, Kyle Rizzoli won Stock Eliminator at the Winter Nationals, and Anthony Bertozzi won Super Stock. What was he doing out there? He's not on the list this year, so he's not going to be repeating there in Super Stock, but Kyle Rizzoli is definitely on the list in Stock and Super Stock. And uh, that early season win is probably, you know, that probably got him a nice jump out on the points last year and helped pave the way for his uh, world championship there in Stock Limiters, carrying the number one on the side of the car. Uh, we also have a race going on in Division Two this weekend, South Georgia Motorsports Park in Adele, Georgia. Uh, I don't know the car counts because you never know the car counts for a divisional event. They just show up and pay at the gate normally. But the forecast looks a little iffy on Friday and Saturday. 66 degrees on Friday with rain. 67 degrees and rainy on Saturday. But Sunday's looking great. 71 degrees on Sunday with sun. So if Friday and Saturday don't work out, don't worry. Sunday is going to be perfect for you. And we know when things are running smoothly, 
these races, you can bang these races out in in several hours and be done by, I'd say, 6 o'clock at night. All right? So have no fear. Division 2, South Georgia Motorsports Park, you guys are going to be all right. Last year, Mark Lewis won Stock Eliminator and Hugh Meeks won Super Stock. I have a feeling they will both be in attendance this weekend and uh, may, may just repeat. Who knows? This is why we need fantasy. Is there fantasy uh, stock and super stock out there yet? We need to make that happen. I'm still the listed Pomona announcer since 1995. Well, get out there and weasel your way into the announcer's booth at Pomona this weekend, Bruce, uh, so we can hear your skills, man. Bertuzzi was out, rest to, uh, out west to run the Spring Fling Vegas last year. Ah, yes. Spring Fling. That, that's going to send me off track right now. Did anybody see the... Uh, that program that Peter Biondo put together, his like playbook, the Biondo playbook, uh, where he, I guess, condenses his 30 years of racing knowledge. And to me, to me, I'm going to say he's the best to ever do it. The best to ever, to, to ever drag race and bracket race. And I guess, I mean, he drove stock and super stock for multiple people in his career or for, for Phil Monteith and probably some other drivers. He drove a comp car. He'd driven everything. But um, I just just the strategy, they were him and Fletcher were doing things back in the day that nobody else was even like thinking of. Uh, so I would I would be highly interested in uh, purchasing this. It's two hundred dollars, I believe, and it's on the this is bracket racing dot com website. I know lots of. Uh, People on here are members of that website. There's like the elite membership. There's a lot of like tier memberships. I think you can purchase like instructional videos. Uh, I'm not really sure, but this is something I'd be probably interested in purchasing is the Beyondo playbook. Um, so if anybody has purchased it and has gotten started on it, let me know what you think. And if it's been a worthwhile purchase for you thus far. Uh, also this weekend, this Saturday, Maple Grove is opening up to run, uh, I think, what test and tune, uh, maybe some bracket racing. And Dan Wally was trying to put together his new modified uh, drag racing uh, c c uh, category there this weekend, March 23rd, Saturday. Not sure the weather is going to cooperate just yet. We got to keep an eye on it. But uh, Dan Wally's got a really good, he's got a, some really good ideas for this modified class. This class is, I should say, he's put together some nice rules. And he's got a Facebook page dedicated to it. So be sure to check it out. It's called the New Modified Eliminator. The New Modified Eliminator. Check that page out. And you can see any car can fit. It doesn't have to be like an old school modified four-speed like Screamer. Um, it's just called the New Modified because you can obviously have cars like that. You can have Stalker, Super Stalker. You can have Bracket Car. It, all, it is all about the weight to cubic inch ratios. And uh, it sounds pretty interesting. And they'll be, you know, they can pump motors and check, make sure you're not lying about your cubic inches and all that stuff. So uh, other than that, other than a cubic inch rule and, um, you know, knowing the, the weight of the car because they can just pull you onto the scale and weigh it, it should be a good good time. And it should, you know, it should be uh, on the level, right? Uh, Cecil County Dragway. All right. We have an announcement here about this Rob Keister putting together our stock super stocks uh, series that Dave lay ran for, for many, many years. Um, he's bringing it back to Cecil County dragway, May 18 and 19, August three and four. And now we got a new sponsor stepped on board, rich prizer, um, Lee Zane and drag insights have all teamed up here. So drag insights kind of got the ball rolling on this. There was no, there was going to be no points fund. It was just going to be four individual races to win $2,500 at each race. And Alicia and I kind of thought, hey, um, you know, the, the, the driver that does the best at the end of the four races, maybe they should get a little bonus. So we said, all right, we'll give a $500. But I didn't say we said. Alicia said, because it's her money. <laughs> 500 bonus to the uh, points winner, 250 to the runner-up. And then Lee Zane and Bud McNasby saw that and said, well, let's make it a little bit more. And then Rich Prizer saw that and said, let's make it even more. So now it is $2,000 to the points leader at the end of the four races, uh, $1,000 to the second place finisher, and then $500 to the third place finisher. There's no buy-in required. Just show up and race. And if you have the most points at the end of those four races, congratulations, you are $2,000 richer. 
Uh, so thank you very much, Alicia. Draginsights.com, Lee Zane and Bud McNasby with their driving uh, racing school. And Rich Prizer with his uh, construction company that I don't have the name of it in front of me. But Rich Prizer is a racer. He runs a 68 Mustang in stock eliminator and a 67 Mustang in super stock. So thank you very much, Rich Prizer. This is turning out to be a really cool series. $100 entry fee to win $2,500. That in and of itself is a very, very phenomenal deal. And um, now you got a points bonus on top of it. So what's going to happen with the points bonus is they're just going to give me the results at the end of the day, and I'm just going to keep a spreadsheet, and I will be posting it on the Driver Interview space Facebook page and probably on ClassRacer.com to keep you all updated, and then you can keep track of where you are in the points and if you have a shot at that moolah, right? Why not? Good luck to Jim Shack. They're running stock and super stock at South Georgia. Talk to him today, and he's heading that way tomorrow. Great guy. He is indeed. He's got really cool uh, stick shift cars, Jim Schachter. He doesn't, he doesn't waste time with automatics. And he is the uh, the face of TBM brakes right now. For anybody that's looking for uh, brakes, very lightweight. Uh, reduce that rotating mass. And Jim Schachter, I mean, this guy has a wealth of knowledge and experience. One of the hardest working guys in class racing. So he can help you out. TBM brakes, Jim Schachter. You were the pusher helper, Vance Cummins. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So Vance Cummins <coughs> helped me push my stalker from the uh, the, <laughs> the turnoff all the way up to the ticket booth, up to the scale, up to the fuel check. Um, thank you very much, Vance Cummins. That was at Gainesville. I, I couldn't. I didn't know who it was. I, it was just a. It was a good Samaritan. So thank you, Vance. Appreciate that. Couldn't have done that without you. Uh, Beyond to use my 428 to go the fastest they ever went. Yes, they did, right? That Phil Monteith, that Firebird always had a 428 in it. Real Pontiac power. Tom Maioli checking in late. How you doing, Tom? Tom Gintz checking in late. What's up with the Toms? They are, uh, they're they're not on time today, but that's all right. They're probably working hard. Thanks for joining us, Tom Gint and Tom Maioli. Uh, next announcement, the Class Racer Nationals. This is the one at New Media Dragway, July 24th. Uh, 2024 New Media Dragway, which is a very, very uh, beautiful track. I must say, nice facility in the mountains. Like you always hear me say, you see the farms out there, the hills. It reminds me of like being in Italy. I love it. Uh, five grand to win, 1,000 to runner up. We got Shane Oaks Landscaping as the sponsor. We got Gutters by Design, which is Tim Stickles. I'm actually wearing a Gutters by Design shirt today. Thanks, Tim Stickles, for sponsoring the Class Racer Nationals. And for always supporting this show, Driver Interviews. Uh, there's also Weldon Fuel Pumps has been the latest sponsor to come on. They'll be giving away a fuel pump, a regulator, and a filter at this event. Beyondo Racing Products is giving things away. California Car Cover, uh, ATI Performance Products. So we got a, a bunch of sponsors. This looks to be a phenomenal event, as it always is. And on top of that, you stay. After this event, this is a one-day event on a... Wednesday, I believe, and then Thursday and Friday is the Divisional, and Saturday and Sunday is the National Open, something like that. You can get two great points and a big money race out there at New Media, uh, July 24th to like July uh, 28th. July 24th to the 20th. Just plan on spending like five days at New Media. You pick up two great points, and you can race for a lot of money. All right? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say about that. Thanks. Uh, Ken Mealy and Tim Fletcher for putting that race on. Uh, we have some sad news here that I need some help with, actually. Raymond, the Raymond Roland Back on Track Fund. This is being put together by Tabitha Drawn of the CCRA Association. That's the Carolina Class Racers Association. So uh, this gentleman, I think Ray, Ray Roland, his, his garage uh, caught fire. Whole place burnt down, lost, you know, lost everything in the garage, lost his race car, and they are putting together a, a, a GoFundMe for Ray. I don't have that link right now, but it's on the CCRA Association page. There's a link to that. If anybody has that link, post it in the comments right now so everybody can see it. But we want to help this racer out. It's, it's so unfortunate when this kind of stuff happens, and this is yet another reason why you want to have these race cars insured with Don Kennedy, right? Don Kennedy, one Don Kennedy at gmail.com is going to give you his email address again right there. 
because that just sent shivers down my spine to think of something like that happening. I don't know how I would ever bounce back from something like that. I'd be distraught. So I know if nobody's hurt, that's the most important thing. But I'd still be distraught. All right. I'm just going to put that out there. All right, guys. Uh, I believe that's it. So if anybody has that link, please post it and we can help that racer out. Uh, don't forget Don Kennedy, 602-284-6240 is his phone number, all right? Don't be distraught. <laughs> Plan ahead. Be ready. Be ready for anything. Oh, God. The world is a very cruel place, and even when accidents happen, oh, um, well, goodness gracious. I'm just oh, I'm just thinking about it. I don't like it. All right. Thanks, Don Kennedy. Appreciate that. Let him, let him cover your race cars. All right, I don't think I have any more uh, announcements. Good luck, anybody heading to Pomona. Mm, enjoy that In-N-Out Burger. It's, it's. I believe it's. I believe it should be at this event. I know this isn't the In-N-Out Finals, but it's at the track that In-N-Out sponsors. So I do think In-N-Out Burger will be there. And my goodness, could you imagine if In-N-Out Burger was at Division One events? Oh, as soon as racing was done for the day, I'd be right over there in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even bring. I probably wouldn't even pack like food in the cooler i like i'm set i'll just bring like an extra 50 bucks and i'm good to go i'll eat in and out burger every single day um good luck heading to d2's south georgia motorsports park have fun guys be safe out there good luck everybody oh wait 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 don't go anywhere i want to cover the points we got some updated points here don't go anywhere don't go anywhere all right top five in stock eliminator right now in the in, nationally troy huntsbury 216 points Steve Foley, 185, Tyler Bohannon, 181, Jared Jordan, 178, and Ralph Papura, 170. D1, Ralph Papura. Uh, super stock points leader is Monty Bogan. He's got 218 points. Don Shuford's in second with 195. Jim Harrison, the Snoopy car, they're tied for second. They both have 190, 195 points. Uh, Jim Harrison, by the way, check out the, uh, the video I put up from Gainesville. It's called the Baby Gators video. It's... Um, it's got some in-car footage with Jim Harrison and that Snoopy car. Man, he winds that thing up. And then I did a reel the other day, and I called it, like, automatics that sound like sticks for a 1,000. And it's gotten, like, it's, it's gotten a lot. I, I might say it's gone viral on a minor, like, uh, standpoint because it's gotten over 50-some thousand views. But you'd be amazed, like, some people just get so uptight about it. Like, that car doesn't sound like a stick at all. You don't know what you're talking about. Dude, it's a joke. The guy's winding the thing up to like 9,200 in the burnout box. He's leaving at 7,500 or higher. I forget. He says it in the in the interview. If you watch the Baby Gators video, he says how high he leaves on the converter. I didn't I didn't know people were leaving that high on a, on a converter. So yes, I'm sticking with my. It's it kind of sounds like a stick. All right. Uh, fourth place is Kenny Schindler in that beautiful uh, Corvette, blue Corvette, and Craig Maddox in fifth place in Superstock. That's nationally. And let's run through the points leaders in each division real quick, and then we'll get out of here. Frank Maiola is number one in Division One Stock Eliminator. John Sierra in Superstock. Cody Phillips in Division Two Stock Eliminator. Jim Harrison, the Snoopy car in Superstock Division Two. I guess he's claiming Division Two this year, and he's out of Illinois. Uh, Division three stock Doug Duell in the Cuda. Uh, Kenny Schindler in Super Stock. Division four Michael Bullris in the Corvette. Hunter Pierdola in Super Stock. Uh, Division five Daryl Goheen in Stock. Doug Engels in Super Stock. Division six Jody Lang in Stock. Jeff Devy in Super Stock. Division seven Jared Jordan in Stock. And Craig Maddox in Super Stock. All right, guys, there you have it. This is the Tuesday Tell All. Today's March 19th. Thank you for joining me. Good luck, everybody, heading to Pomona and South Georgia Motorsports Park. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, we got a couple comments here. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see if that that uh, that that link came through. Scott Cott. Thank you very much. Tabitha has the details posted on her page, but there is not a GoFundMe for Raymond. Details to help him are in her page, so it's not a GoFundMe. There's something else going on. Check out the CCRA Facebook page or Tabitha. Drawn's Facebook page. It is up there. Uh, in and out is coming to Tennessee soon. Oh, good luck. Lucky you, Don. Lucky you. Best deal, in and out Burger CEO is a drag racer. Lindsay Snyder. Isn't it awesome? Oh, God. Be sure to thank her if you see her this weekend. Please. Uh, sad, sad situation for Raymond and his family. He's a very good guy and dedicated to the sport of class racing. All right, let's help this guy out. We need that link. Darian, find that link. Hurry up in the next 10 seconds. Billy Gibbs, how you doing, buddy? 
Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. All right, Aunt Lisa, have a good night. Thanks for watching me. All right, guys, take care. Anybody finds that link, post it, or I'll post it shortly after we're finished here. Have a good night.